Deputy Richard Boyd Barrett, you may introduce. Yeah, sir, my uh, question relates to the former Stena terminal in Dunleary Harbour and uh, the moves by the council to uh, develop some sort of new enterprise down there. But the problem is that the elected representatives, both in the council, uh, myself, and indeed the wider public, uh, have no clue as to how this um, uh, this. Uh, uh, expressions of interest process was set up, how the council decided to pick a preferred bidder, uh, and what criteria they excluded some and included others, uh, and no public consultation as to how all of this will contribute to enhancing Dolleary Harbour as a public amenity. You, so I'm hoping you might be able to enlighten us as to what the hell is going on in Dolleary Harbour, because the people of Dolleary don't know. Uh, and I may not be able to do that, Deputy, and I'll tell you why. I am aware of the proposals that the Deputy is referring to, which I understand is being led by the Don Leary Act Down Local Authority. And I welcome the development of supporting infrastructure for enterprise development for any quarter. The, the development in this case does not fall under the jurisdiction of this department, and the reason for that is very simple. You ask uh, what do we know about it? No application up to now has been made by the department. So it would be folly of me to give you a detailed analysis as to what is happening with that particular de department. Speaking to my officials today, they say that they have had no application whatsoever uh, uh, led by Don Leary Ratdown Local Authority. You might be aware that Minister Humphreys has made uh, available three successive rounds of funding uh, under the Department's Regional Enterprise Development Fund, and that was €105 million, Euro, which is aimed at supporting the development and implement, implementation, uh, implementation and collaboration of innovative projects that can sustain uh, and add to the uh, employment at county, regional and national level. Applicants to this fund must be either designated uh, by a designated activity company, which is DAC, or a company limited of guaranteed CLG, and I'll explain that if you want me in a few minutes. To date, Dublin has received uh, 9.3 million funding through calls one and call two of, of the REDF. The most recent third round, the 45 million call three of the REDF, has recently closed, and applications are currently being evaluated. Minister Humphreys will announce the successful projects on conclusion of the evalu evaluation process in due course. Should the Government through Enterprise Ireland be in a position to launch further funds of the REDF, the project promoters in this case may wish to consider applying for this competitive funding project uh, to their uh, meeting the, uh, of course, the, the criteria laid down, the elig eligible criteria laid down for participation. Minister Hunsley has also launched the Dublin Regional Enterprise Plan last February, with strategic objectives fo focused on availability of skills and talents, increasing enterprise engagement and research, development and innovation, building a pipeline of sustainable and start-ups, enhancing the attractiveness of Dublin as a place to live and, of course, invest. Uh, okay, I, yeah, okay, okay, you. thanks. Well, uh, I mean, I'd be delighted to know that there might be funds available in the Regional Development Fund from your department, Minister. What I find an absolute mystery is that Dunleary at Down County Council have decided on a preferred bidder to set up a new enterprise in this absolutely central location in the middle of Dunleary Harbour, and they haven't even talked to you about it. Right? But this is there couldn't be an important, more important site in the middle of Dunleary. The councillor, they won't tell the councillors about it, they won't tell the TDs about it. The public, needless to say, are completely kept in the dark, even though this is a site which is in public ownership. But we discovered yesterday that they have decided they've got a preferred bidder, uh, who are a crowd called Lapidus Investments, uh, headed up by somebody called Hilary Hayden. I went to just, uh, you know, took the trouble to go online and see who are these people, and they've uh, an address in an accountancy firm in Eamon Street. But that's all you can find out about them. And they have now been uh, given the green light by the executive, the unelected executive of Dunleary Ratdown County Council to take over the centre of Dunleary Harbour. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Okay. And you don't know about it. Now, I'm not blaming you for that, Minister, but I mean, it's just shocking Thank you, that this could be done uh, and no interest, no uh, engagement at all with the public as to what they might like in their harbour, Thank in you. their town. Thank you, Deputy. Minister Halligan, please. Uh, Deputy again. Development referred to by yourself as one that's been led by the uh, local authority in Dunleary. So it is therefore not under 
if you like, uh, my department's remit. And I have to be quite frank with you that both the Minister and myself are not, have not been given any sustainable information or, or, or substantial information on that development. As I said, the Department's Regional Enterprise Development Fund uh, was made available of £105 million in competitive funding to stimulate enterprise growth and job creation uh, um, in Ireland, including the Dublin region. But look, uh, I think that it's up to the councillors in the region, uh, it's up to the uh, local authority of Dunleary to uh, uh, make contact with the department because I can rabble on here with a load of information to give you about Dublin and what's been involved, but uh, it isn't under my department remit. I've been told by the officials that um, no application has been made to the department, so it is almost impossible for us to comment on Thank you. Uh, the very, uh, very, uh, which I think an important issue that you do bring up regarding that site. Thank you. Well, I, I think it should be a matter of concern to the government that uh, a very important site that is of huge uh, value to the people of the area, that certainly could generate uh, significant employment and benefit to the area, but that the, local, the unelected executive are making decisions without reference to anybody. Right? And I can't get information here. The councillors in this email are told so we've, we've picked a preferred bidder, but sorry, we can't tell you who it is. Or sorry, we can't tell you, uh, yes, who it is, who is the bidder until such time as all negotiations were complete. So we'll tell you after we make the decision and after contracts are signed. Uh, and I'm aware that at least five other um, uh, expressions of interest were put in from other companies, and they were just dismissed uh, by the executive of the council, again, without any democratic discussion with you, clearly, or with uh, the council. Uh, I mean, that's just not a way to do business with public property. Uh, and when we're talking about, you know, in the case of Dunleary, uh, a place beloved and absolutely critical to the future of Dunleary, a place where people do have desires for things like a national maritime uh, and marine you, sports centre, for things like a diaspora museum, and for um, employment opportunities that will generally, genuinely benefit the town, but not a sort of mystery development where nobody has any Thank knowledge you, uh, or any say in what the hell is going on in our town and our harbour. Minister, your final reply. You know, I have to say this here, that um, um, we are aware of the proposals, that's all we're aware of, and we understand, again, as I said in my initial response to you, that this has been led by the Dunleary Ratdown Local Authority. And I would imagine, being on a local authority myself, like you were over a long number of years, that that would be the authority, to, if you feel that there's something not right, that it would be up to the councillors on that authority to hold people to account on it. Mm. Um, and it would be up... It would be up but it would also be up to the, the, the Dunleary Authority to make contact with this department on the relevant issues if they felt that was necessary. I mean, to be quite frank with you, uh, you and I have sat on councils where applications come in consistently that are not referred to the Department of Jobs and Enterprise on many occasions. So again, um, I will give a commitment to you that we will investigate this to the best of our ability and come back. If I say we will do that, we will do that. But right now, as that application stands and as that position stands, um, that remit is not within, it's not within our remit in, uh, in Jobs and Enterprise. Thank you, uh, Minister. That concludes uh, questions to 